we've been talking about it, all the forecasts. We do have those risks for stronger storms again starting tomorrow night. But what we were talking about was something called the cap. Yeah, and how that kind of complicates things. And you've got more information about that. Yeah, and it's going to be really complicated here for tomorrow. Third or, or Friday, I should say, it looks a little bit more likely that there will be some storms. How strong they are, that's going to be in question. But let's talk about Thursday and that cap that we're talking about. Well, this whole situation that we have going on, we have this big storm system. The actual center of that storm system is actually over Minnesota and the Dakotas, but there's so much energy out ahead of it that the storms can really tap into. But what we're watching is with that potential for those strong to severe thunderstorms is will the storms break through that cap? And what we're talking about with the cap is there there's an area of warm air higher up into the atmosphere. So as we get development, as we get storms and clouds forming as we go into the afternoon, they encounter that warm air further up and they can't rise any higher. The warm air basically prevents it and acts like a lid, a cap on the atmosphere, preventing the clouds and preventing any storms from developing. But if we can get some colder air, something to mix into the warm air and actually erode or get rid of the cap, then we're talking about that potential for those thunderstorms to actually build up, break through the cap and become strong to severe, producing that risk for hail, damaging winds, even a couple of tornadoes. So that's what the question that remains is, will the storms on Thursday, Thursday evening into Thursday night, actually develop and break through that cap? That's what we're still watching. That's what we're looking at in the computer projections to see if that is going to in fact happen going into Thursday night. There is that potential, but there's still a lot of factors really playing into this whole environment. Yeah, so I mean, kind of a complicated forecast here, yeah. especially heading uh, into the next few days, and it could be kind of uh, feast or famine when it comes to really, storms. Really, yeah, and I think, like I said, uh, Friday looks a little bit more potential that they will break through the cap, more storms developing further to the west, and that cold air starting to work in, not as strong of a cap, but Thursday, it's still, uh, yeah, kind of iffy right now. Yeah, kind of, kind of iffy, could, could go either way, really. Yeah.